Okay, so now that we've finished glycolysis, we're left with pyruvate. Um, so there's this little reaction that happens, um, and then we enter the, the TCA cycle. So we'll go over this real quick. Pyruvate, um, and then it has a couple enzymes, and, and it's called the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. It just has a bunch of stuff in it, um, which turns pyruvate into acetyl-CoA. Um, and the biggest things to remember is that pyruvate was, um, glycolysis is done in the cytosol, but pyruvate has to move into the mitochondria um, to be able to have acetyl-CoA be produced. So that's what happens. Um, and the, the biggest takeaway from this little reaction is pyruvate is changing to acetyl-CoA and that we yield two NADHs and two carbon dioxides, right? Because it has two molecules of pyruvate for every one molecule of, glycol I mean of glucose. Okay, so now we have acetyl-CoA. So we're gonna come over here. We have acetyl-CoA um, and how it enters this cycle is it just helps aid and push the wheel around. So um, we have ox oxaloacetate, or I think it's OOA, it might be OAA. Um, it's a four carbon unit. We're gonna add citrate synthase and acetyl-CoA. This step right here in blue, anything in blue is irreversible. So we're gonna go from a four carbon unit, add two, we're gonna end up at citrate, which is a six carbon unit, and then from there, we're gonna have a reversible reaction. So we can go either way. We're gonna end up with isocitrate, which is still that six carbon unit. And then we're gonna add an isocitrate dehydrogenase. This is blue, so it's an irreversible reaction. Um, we also have NAD plus coming in and we're gonna be releasing carbon dioxide and NADH. So we're lo we've lost one carbon. So now we're a five carbon unit. We have alpha, ketoglutarate, sorry, I wrote sideways. Um, from there, we're gonna have alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, which is irreversible. You see the blue line. And um, we're gonna do the same thing we did before. NAD8, NA, excuse me, NAD+, we're gonna release CO2 and NADH. From here, um, we're left with succinyl-CoA, which is a four carbon unit. So we've gone from six to four in just two steps. Um, and from six succinyl CoA to succinate, um, we're going to go from GDP to GTP. Um, and this is the only step where we get ATP directly from this cycle. So it's a substrate level phosphorylation, which means that we just get ATP. It's really GTP, but um, it's kind of like the same, same. So we're still at that foreign unit, succinate. So we have succinate dehydrogenase, and it turns it into fumarate. And in that process, we get from FAD to FADH2, which is another energy source that we're gonna talk about um, that gets pumped out. And you can just think the F and the fumarate, they're together. So then we're gonna go to malate, which is still reversible. And then we're gonna have malate dehydrogenase to give us the oxaloacetate. And then from there, we're done. Um, we're back to the citrate synthase, and the, the process just continues on as long as we can have glucose in the body and be in the mitochondria. That's pretty much a rushed version of the TCA cycle.